Today, we go to the hottest fast food chain to ever come out of the Philippines. And we don't even have to leave the country. But is their food good enough to take over the entire world? Today, we'll find out. It's Keith finally tries Jollibee. Today, on Wrangle's Angle. I'm willing to assume you've at least heard of the place we're going to today. Today we're going to Jollibee, the fast food fried chicken place originating in the Philippines that's been around since 1978. But you don't need to go all the way to the Philippines just to try them, because they have 1,500 locations all around the world, including 100 in the USA, including four here in Illinois. In fact, I literally have to stop making excuses of why I haven't gone there, because when I went to New York and London, they had them there too. But I did tell myself that Jollibee was definitely gonna get their own episode. So today's episode was probably a long time coming because today we're going to Jollibee. Let's go! Oh, by the way, we're going to the location in downtown Chicago, so I figure we might as well just take the train. We better get a move on. Today, we're going to Jollibee, arguably the most popular fast food chain to come out of the Philippines. They sell fried chicken, but you can also find things like burgers and even spaghetti on the menu too, which we're definitely gonna try. But first, Keith's gonna meet his friend Joe at the train station. Let's check in with him right now. Uh, now walk back to the, the thing, yeah. Yeah, I have to make it look like we just met each other. Okay, now. This is Joe. You may remember him from the vintage clothing episode. Luckily, he's pretty used to Keith's way of making videos by now. Within minutes, we both had our train tickets, and with the magic of video, the train was just arriving. We got the upstairs seats cause we're cool. And while the train took its time, we made it work. But it was just a matter of time before we arrived at the LaSalle Street Station in the best city in the world, Chicago, Illinois. But for the sake of not losing your interest, we finally made it to our destination, Jollibee, on Chicago's famous Michigan Avenue, one of four locations Jollibee has in Illinois. Before we walk inside, I sense a photo opportunity. Joe took this photo of me. I asked if he wanted to take a photo of himself, but he said he was good. Isn't that something? As we walk inside, I see it's a nice looking place with some nice graphic design. I tend to notice things like that as I did study that in community college. But as I took my time looking at the menu, Joe got impatient and started ordering. Huh. Patience is a virtue. That or maybe he was just hungry. But before you know it, I was sitting in my booth with a bag of Jollibee ready to go. Joe's ready too, or at least he was, cause he started eating without me. So we better get started. <laughs> Joe. Joe and I both ordered some spicy fried chicken, although mild is also an option here as well. While Joe got his with fries, I chose to order Jollibee's famous spaghetti, and then some mashed potatoes, and then a burger. Yeah, they sell those here too. Oh, and then this Filipino dish called palabuk. And we'll get to what that is in just a second. But first, let's start with that chicken. But not till after I do some eyebrows to the camera. That's from my friend Liz, who says I do that too much in my videos. Hi, Liz! Now, Joe was telling me how spicy it was, but we'll see about that for ourselves. We're going in. <laughs> Spicier than your typical fast food chicken, and that's the way I like it. And Joe may have had to point this out to me, but the chicken had a much more real taste than your typical fast food chicken, which sounds good to me. As far as I know, the spicy chicken is a win. Although I assume some people would consider it a little too spicy for their tastes. I also ordered a burger, cause what's a chicken joint without a beef burgers, right? That's not supposed to make any sense, but either way, let's take a bite. <laughs> So it's a beef cheeseburger with a little bit of special sauce. And while there was nothing bad about it, it didn't stand out any more than your basic McDonald's burger would. I'm basically saying I wouldn't order it again, so I'm assuming that's a no. But we kept working on our chicken, which like I said, was very good. And that side of gravy honestly made it even better. Honestly, I even felt the need to take a shot of gravy right out of the cup. Cheers, buster. 
But the mashed potatoes and gravy are a yes too. But here at Jollibee, the spaghetti was something we definitely needed to try. Now Jollibee is known for their spaghetti. I wanted to make sure Joe tried some of this too. In which Joe did say some good things about it. I thought it was good too, and really liked the sweetness of it. Which we really weren't expecting. I'm saying it's a win. But finally, we have to talk about this dish called palabak, which according to Jollibee, is a traditional noodle dish covered in garlic sauce, sauteed pork, shrimp, and eggs. Sounds like a lot going on, and I lift my eyebrows to that. We're going in. <laughs> It had a lot going on inside of it. I don't think it was bad necessarily, but I needed another taste. Okay, I get it. But I don't necessarily like it or dislike it. Does that make any sense? So I don't know whether to say yes or no to this one. You know, I just can't say. But after a peach mango pie and Joe finishing his pineapple drink, along with a few more funny faces to the camera, we were finished. But let's check in with Keith and Joe, somewhere in or near Chicago's famous Millennium Park. Hey look, there's the bean! Definitely gonna get myself in trouble with some of the jokes I'm making. <laughs> Joe, what did you think of uh, Jollibee? Really good, better than Brown's Chicken and KFC. I don't know if a lot of the people watching this are gonna know what Brown's Chicken is, but that's- Why would you not? You live in anywhere in the state. Yeah, we got people from all over the world watching these videos. <laughs> Would you go back to Jollibee? Definitely. I ate so much that I'm starting to resent that I went to Jollibee, but uh, no, not because the food tasted bad, just because I ate so much of it. <laughs> but we're gonna walk it off, right? Yeah, definitely gonna yeah. walk it off. We're gonna walk it off, do some touristy things, Chicago. Well, we did walk it off, and Joe and I met up with a friend in the city, and we hung out. And while they enjoyed some adult beverages, I just hung out and took in the vibes. It was fun. But eventually, we ate one more meal. <laughs> <laughs> parted ways and caught the train and of course we had some deep conversations all the way back for an end to a really good night that's exactly how Joe looks when he's having a deep conversation <laughs> love it Anywho, if you're enjoying the video so far, just remember, Wrangle's Angle is sponsored by you. So consider leaving me a cash donation today so I can keep making more episodes. Or you can just hit subscribe. Or if you prefer something tangible, just remember, we got Wrangle's Angle t-shirts. And in just a few moments, I'll tell you where to get one. But in the meantime, we're going to let Keith and Joe get home from the train in Chicago. But let's take a look at those results. Honestly, we found Jollibee to be delicious. Their fried chicken was excellent for fast food standards. It was nice and juicy and had a really good flavor too. Then it felt a little more real than your typical fast food chicken chain. And a great option for your next chicken dinner. But the burgers didn't really do it for me. And the pala book probably isn't something I would order again. However, I do believe that the spaghetti and everything else they had on their menu was good enough to say that Jollibee is a great fast food option. I definitely recommend Jollibee, and that is the Wrangle's Angle on that one. I love how new and noteworthy things always have the tendency to come to Chicago. But will Jollibee ever expand their U.S. operations to become as synonymous with fried chicken as players like KFC, Popeyes, or even Chick-fil-A? I guess we'll just have to find out. And that is the Wrangle's Angle on that one. If you enjoyed today's episode, you'll love the time Joe took me to a bunch of thrift and vintage stores and taught me about the wonderful world of vintage clothes reselling. And you'll find that episode on my channel. So don't forget, we got more videos for you to watch on YouTube and Facebook. Remember, either way, it's .com slash Wrangle's Angle. And when you're there, don't forget to hit subscribe because we got more videos for you on the way, including food videos, because evidently people just love it when I talk about food. And also, we finally got Wrangles Angle t-shirts. That's right. Kofi.com slash Wrangles Angle is the official place to get official Wrangles Angle merchandise like the official Wrangles Angle t-shirt. And when you're there, don't forget, Wrangles Angle is sponsored by you. So consider leaving me a cash donation today so I can keep making more episodes. Because Wrangles Angle's free, and I like it that way. But just remember that your purchases and donations help me to make more of the content you love. So consider leaving me a one-time or monthly donation today. And yes, monthly donations can be canceled at any time. It's all waiting for you at Kofi.com slash 
slash Wrangles Angle. That's ko-fi.com slash Wrangles Angle. And also, if you have any suggestions for merchandise you would like to see, let me know in the comments. And also, in the future, I would like to do personalized video messages. So, hey, stay tuned for that. But, uh, before we go, before you watch more of my videos, so Joe is becoming quite the regular here on the Wrangles Angle. So I figure what better way to end the video than to look back at some of Joe's best moments on Wrangles Angle. He's only been in one other episode, so how long could this possibly take? <laughs> we'll see you next time, folks. Take it easy. It's time for the best of Joe on Wrangles Angle. All right, this is my friend Joe right here. This is my friend Joe right here. Here's your orange shirt, I paid for it, take it. You ran a red light. No, I didn't, stop. Disqualified. <laughs>